Hey guys and welcome back. So I've got a lot of work in the cars for me when it comes to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6. Yesterday we got the good news that these guys know that they're ending with Season 7, so they're gonna make sure that the series ends on a good ending, like a final ending. We're gonna get closure by the end of the series, but however, that's also bad news because we always wanted more. But that though is a topic that we could discuss in detail later on. One of the things that I could say right now is I'm expecting a lot of spin-offs, the Hulu Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes series is in and out of itself a spin-off out of Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., so that's a good thing. I'm expecting a lot more of those to be announced in the near future, at least I'm hoping we get something of the sort. But regardless, thanks to San Diego Comic-Con, we also got a trailer for the final four episodes of Season 6. The trailer does prove a lot of theories that we've been talking about to hold true. I mean, some of them I haven't talked about on videos, but some of them have been spoken of by other people over Discord and in the comments to some of my videos. So I'm going to discuss all of those over the course of this video and as I break down said trailer. But before we talk the breakdown, let's first get started by watching the trailer first. Let's go. Why is it taking him so long to die? You don't understand. He's coming back. He's getting stronger. Can you really say that there's no part of you that recognizes us? I'm not the cure for your loneliness. I can feel the rage churning underneath my skin. You're afraid that this is the real you. So come on, just show us what you really are. Her song ringing through every bone in my body. Are you seeing this? What is it? I don't know. But I think it means we're too late. But I still believe there's good in you. The person that is in there is not the man that you loved. What if there's still a way to save what's left of Coulson? Coulson died a year ago. I'm done pretending like that didn't happen. But if I see a chance to get Coulson back, I'm going to take it. You're here to join me. I'm hunting you. You're not hunting me. You're longing for me. When the devil shows up, he'll be wearing the face of someone you trust. He'll make you question everything you see and everything you know. Fate of the world as always. Let's go finish this thing. Everybody hold on! You've always been capable of more than you think. Now do it. This will be the hardest thing you have ever done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so the first thing that we get on this trailer is the stinger of episode 9 of the season. That's pretty much May walking in on Sarge, shooting him three times. Right after that, it's the Marvel television logo, followed by Fitz wondering why is Sarge taking so long to die. Sarge is right there on the table, he's connected to all of these devices, but he's not dying yet. And because he is engineering and she is biochem, she's the one to know. You know, he is not really dying, he's coming back and he's coming back stronger. But the next thing here though, the way he wakes up on the table, Sarge that is, feels very much like a zombie coming back to life. You've got Simmons right there with him in the lab. I personally think this is all going to happen either close to the end of episode 10 at the very beginning of episode 11 because this is not happening right away. They're going to be under siege for the majority of episode 10. They've got Izel within the lighthouse and then on episode 11 they're going to be having to deal with their fears. They're going to be going down that road again, you know, the fear dimension. Going to talk about that later though. But moving on though, and as I expected this week, yes, May is not done yet. She still believes that this guy might actually be Coulson. I mean, there is a lot over there to kind of prove the possibility that he might be Coulson. A lot for her, a lot for us as viewers. This is why exactly I've been persistent that this guy is still Coulson. Some way, somehow, it's either body, body and soul, or body and residuals of a soul. But this though is where things get a little bit complicated. You know, he gets angry, I'm not the cure for your loneliness. He's banging the palm of his hand against the table they're sitting at, only to leave a dent the size and shape of the palm of his hand. Okay, so we know now that Azel's got powers, you know, with the Shrikes and all, Sarge's got powers, 
And, you know, he didn't know about them before this moment. I mean, he does look surprised in that scene. So, yeah, he never knew about this. Okay, so this is point number one. He doesn't know he's got these powers. The next thing he's stating, I can feel the rage churning underneath my skin. That means that the guy is kind of wondering about all of this. And the next thing that follows on the trailer is Daisy telling him, you're afraid that this is the real you. Because at this point, he's realizing he's got powers, he doesn't remember anything, he still thinks he is Sarge. So at this point in the events, the man has been doing the wrong thing in order to achieve the right thing, what he believes is the right thing. This man is kind of wondering, am I the villain? Am I the good guy? Is this the real me? The ability that he's displaying on the next scene, the way his abilities are working throughout this trailer, kind of reminds us of one person and only one person. And sadly, this happens to be the one theory that a lot of people have been talking about, a lot of people have been mentioning in the comments and on Discord, and I've only mentioned once on one video and never addressed it again because I didn't really think it would hold a lot of water. Now, all the abilities are reminiscent of Hive. The fact that the monoliths are involved kind of remind us of many things, but Hive is one of them. And the fact that we do see three hooded individuals later on in the events of this trailer kind of makes it sound like all of this has got something to do with Maveth, something to do with Hive. Like Sarge, Hive and Azel were all three individuals that were in League at some point and there were three deities of sorts. I'm gonna talk about that later when I get to that point on the trailer, but all his abilities throughout this trailer kind of makes us think of Hive. But yeah though, in a continuation to Daisy's statement, she states, So come on, just show us who you really are. And that's when he attacks her, that's when he sends her flying midair until she hits a wall. Daisy's most definitely got some kind of match in Sarge. But yeah, that's it about him, Daisy and May. The next thing, he's gonna make his escape. He's opened up a hole, a big hole in the wall, in order to make that escape. And following that, we move on to Izel. Izel is out there. She's walking somewhere. It does seem like some kind of a temple. I think she's probably in some kind of an Incan temple. She walks out. She's standing in the middle of that forest, and she's calling on her shrikes, bring me an army. She's pretty much instructing them to go around and collect people for her, bring her an army of human beings. So she could basically fight S.H.I.E.L.D. But the other thing about this scene and all the scenes involving Izel is they're probably not set on episode 10. They're probably set on other episodes 11 or 12 and 13. And I'm assuming over here is going to be 12 and 13. This is all going to be very close to the end of the season. I mean, that's going to be close to the very final fight. So it's bring me an army, they bring her an army, and then the final showdown comes into effect. But still on Izel though, she's got that orb, you know, the orb containing the fear dimension, or that's what I think that is, and she's pretty much using it to unleash whatever she wants to unleash. I think this is gonna end up being the thing that gives Sarge back his memories, it is gonna end up being the thing that ends up possibly with a little bit of effort from Izel forming the three monoliths that we do see close to the end of this trailer. You need to remember here that the gateway to the fear dimension that we did see on Season 5, that all came to effect due to the explosion that led to the destruction of the three monoliths and the activation of all three of them together. So maybe she could basically reverse engineer that process. But yeah though, it's what she's been looking for, it's what she's been trying to get to. She wants it for so many reasons, she might want to go back home, open a portal to that home, or at the very least, bring back the memories of Sarge based on what we realize about him and her close to the end of the trailer. Now over the course of these couple of scenes, we do see Coulson lying down or sort of lying down or just the camera is kind of tilted and we do see his face kind of burning a little bit. Is this his memories coming back because of what she's doing? Is this basically a sign that we've got to look at because there is part of the Ghost Rider in there? I'm gonna talk about that possibility in a moment, but we do see that. We do see the three figures that I talked about, the three figures that kind of made me think, okay, maybe they are connected to Hive. Maybe it was Sarge, Hive, and Azel, all in league at some point, and then things changed. But here, though, are your three monoliths. They're reconstructed, or maybe these are a different version of the monoliths. You've got the space monolith to the left, the time monolith right in the middle, and then the one on the right, the one that we've always thought is pretty much a reality monolith. On another note, the three monoliths are exactly in the same position that the three figures I was just talking about are at. The color schemes for both scenes are kind of different, and it all kind of makes me think maybe the three monoliths are representative of three different people. The space one would be Hive, the time one would be Sarge, 
Remember his talk about living a hundred years and then a hundred years more, talking about planets that moved at the speed of light, so you know, all about time travel, time perception and whatnot, and finally the one to the right, and I'm assuming that one is the reality monolith that will be Izal. But there though is another suggestion made by Kevin Seeley over Discord which basically agrees with everything I've said so far except for one thing. Maybe the first monolith, the space one, does not really represent Hive, maybe this has got nothing to do with Hive, and it's rather got everything to someone we don't know about yet, someone we're gonna meet on the upcoming episodes of the season. That's also a possibility. Now they are not exactly stable, Azel is trying to activate them, Deke is there watching her, Deke is gonna be in danger, he might be the guy that dies before the end of this season, even though if I remember correctly I did see photos for him out of the set of season 7, but then maybe I'm wrong and not remembering things correctly. Still on Deke though, he's asking Fitz and Simmons if they're seeing what he's seeing, they're pretty much seeing it, they've got a feed of it, Simmons wonders what is it, Deke doesn't know, remember Deke never saw the monolith and he's pretty much saying that he thinks they're too late. Now we've got to keep in mind that this might be related to another scene so I might be completely wrong here, that they're monitoring something else and that something else is going crazy at that moment, maybe it is Izel actually managing to activate the monolith or actually bringing something into play over here after the monolith is activated. But circling back though to May and Sarge, she tells Sarge, I still believe there is good in you, I think at this point she's gonna be under the full impression that this guy is actually Coulson, or in the body of Coulson, or that there are residuals of Coulson in there, and I think as well that a lot of people within S.H.I.E.L.D. are gonna believe it, because that's why Daisy tells her next, the man in there is not the man that you loved, so she's pretty much telling her that the body might be the body of Coulson, but the man in there is not really Coulson. And that, my friends, is what I've been discussing since the beginning of the season. The context of that statement did always sound like that, especially when combined with the Hug the Daisy gift Sarge at some point that we're gonna get to see before the end of the season. You could also tell, by the way, by the look on Sarge's face on that scene, you know, when May tells him, I still believe there is good in you, that he's still struggling inside, that there's the Coulson part within him, it's struggling to get out, and there's the Sarge part on the outside, and that part has got two parts to it, struggling. One that, you know, thinks he's been working against Izel, trying to stop Izel, that he's not the bad guy, and the other one that just realized that he doesn't know anything about himself, that he's got powers, and that he might be part of the villainous team. But we've got a change of attitude with Fitz and Simmons, this time around they're trying to save Coulson, I mean last season they were trying to save Coulson, but their choice though was between Coulson and the rest of the world, and they chose the rest of the world. But this time around though, the end of the world is all about Izel, they want to defeat Izel, but at the same time they want to bring back Coulson. I think Simmons is the one talking over here as well, because she realizes the impact of all of this. Because we've got one, she understands the pain of everyone from the loss of Coulson, because she does feel that pain, and two, she understands May's pain, I mean she's lost Fitz, she couldn't take it, she tried her best, did all she can in order to get him back, and she got him back. But the next two things we've got over here is Daisy looking at that letter and she's crying, that's the letter that we saw at the end of episode 9, that's the letter that Coulson told her at the end of season 5, the very end of the finale, that he left her in her bunk. Like I left you that letter, it's nothing fancy, I'm just telling you how proud I am of you, I don't think that was all there was to that letter, or now that the series has got a season 6, they're not planning to go with that letter that way. I don't think that Daisy opened it or read it either, because the next thing that she states is she's done pretending that Coulson is not dead. He's been dead for a year, they've all been pretending that he is not dead, they've all been acting like this never happened, trying to ignore it, trying to forget about it, and part of doing that is not reading the one letter that says he is dead. But May though is persistent, if I see a chance to get Coulson back, I'm gonna take it, I did tell you since the beginning, May is never changing her mind, May does believe that this guy is Coulson, no matter how much she says I don't believe it, I should have killed that guy. I've always been a believer, I've always voiced that out, that she is pretty certain deep inside that this guy is Coulson and she's getting what she wanted. Now a lot of people are gonna say this is no confirmation, this trailer is no confirmation that he is Coulson, but that part is coming up pretty soon, the part that confirms it without any kind of doubt. But the next thing here is May with the sword, you know, in the same temple, the very same sword that Sarge showed them a couple of episodes ago, the one he claimed is gonna use to kill Izel. 
I do think that she's either gonna be facing off with Sarge trying to stop him, trying to remind him of who he really is, or she's gonna be facing off with Izel. We've got the conversation between Sarge and Izel, you're here to join me, and Sarge responds, I'm hunting you, and then she tells him, you're not hunting me, you're longing for me. So someone in the comments a while back did mention that this is not just being in league, but rather they are lovers, they were lovers, and that their relationship is more than just a past team up, and that apparently does seem to be true as of this trailer. But she activates the monoliths, we've got her and Sarge, and Sarge is kind of looking her with this look of love, a little bit of an evil look of love. When the devil shows up, he'll be wearing the face of someone you love, someone you trust, he'll make you question everything that you see. That's a little touch of the usual religious talk from Mac, the use of the word devil kind of makes you think of demons, not saying that's necessarily it, but I'm saying over here that this has been a repetitive theme of the entire season, so what are we looking for here? Are we gonna see a ghost rider or some version of the ghost rider? But yeah though, religious talk from Mac again, I know a lot of people get triggered by this kind of stuff, but his statement, the metaphor over here, is not totally misplaced. At this point as well, he's also not just talking to May, Daisy is the one standing right in front of him, and he could pretty much tell by the color, shade, and style of her hair. But fate of the world, as always, those are Yo-Yo's words, I'm not really sure what she's planning over here, is she planning to encourage the killing of Coulson like another time over? There's Sarge with the sword, let's go finish this thing, I'm not really sure what he's planning over here, I'm not really sure when this will be located in the events of the final four episodes, like is it after he reunites with Izel, or is it before that? Like is he gonna make it back to the lighthouse before the end of the season, reunite with Team Shield, and kinda help them defeat Izel? We've also got this one unclear fiery scene, it does seem to me like this is the Quinjet on fire, We've got Daisy walking the corridors of the lighthouse angry, she's pulling the sword, you know that sword that Coulson showed them a couple of episodes ago, the very same sword that we see May earlier on the trailer holding and ready to face off with whomever she's gonna face off with in that scene. We've got the repercussions of bring me an army at the beginning of the trailer, the army is here, they're invading the lighthouse, Yo-Yo and Daisy are right there trying to fight them, hold them back. There's the other arc that's going to be playing out in parallel over the course of the finale, I suppose, which is basically all about the Chronicoms, you know, Enoch on one hand and Malachi on the other hand, and I think it's going to advance a lot throughout the finale, but it's not going to be something the team is going to deal with, like the ending of the season, the cliffhanger of the season, that's what's going to have everything to do with that arc. But there's that round portal in the temple that we did see on the trailer of season 6, there's Fitz and Simmons, there's an emergency, there is a code red within the lighthouse and they're running around. There's Sarge with the evil look once again, there is Mac in the temple, there is Daisy in the temple, they're all trying to stop Izel, they're all also trying to stop Sarge, and there's Deke and for some crazy reason he's the one flying them, possibly that reason could be what a lot of people expected, Davis is dead. But circling back though to Malachi, we've got Malachi and Balgad there in the corridors of some ship, a confederacy ship from what it seems, and they're shooting at someone, a woman from what it seems, and that woman looks more like Altara than anyone else, because at first I was thinking Daisy, but that doesn't look like Daisy, that's not the body of Daisy, that's not the way that Daisy dresses. On another note though, it could possibly be Yo-Yo, because the next scene we see Yo-Yo being extremely tortured, I think Yo-Yo might end up dead by the end of the season. And finally, and before we jump to the stinger of this trailer, because yes, this trailer, just like the episodes, has got a stinger, we've got Sarge in front of Daisy, Daisy is holding that sword to him, she's about to kill him, possibly about to kill him, and he does want her to kill him, you've always been capable of more than you think, now do it, do it. That's pretty much Coulson in there, that's pretty much Coulson speaking, that's the residual of Coulson that I've been talking about for weeks now. Now I don't think we've got a Star Wars reference since the beginning of the season, so the lightsaber, that sword that acts like a lightsaber in a way, that's pretty much your reference to Star Wars this season. Daisy as well is not gonna kill Sarge, Daisy's gonna realize that this guy is not just Sarge, that Coulson is within. But hey though, you can't give us Malachi in this trailer and not give us Enoch, we love Enoch, so we get Enoch in the stinger, this is gonna be the hardest thing you've ever done, yeah yeah, says Fitz, not again, says Simmons. So that's pretty much all about the cliffhanger to the season, that's the thing that's gonna lead into season 7, and it is most probably gonna have something to do with time travel. 
But that having been said though, my work here is done. I'll be seeing you tomorrow on my review of the 10th episode of the season. That being said as well, let me know in the comments what you thought about this trailer, what you think is going to be happening over the course of the final four episodes of the season, and of course how you felt about the news that season 7 is going to be the final season of the series. Let me know as well if you did like this video by dropping it a much appreciated like, subscribing to this channel, and while you're at it make sure you enable notifications in order to get updates whenever I upload a new video, publish a new community post, or start a new live stream. But until the next time that you tune in for another one of my videos, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. or otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in to this trailer breakdown and have a great day.